Well, the nation is celebrating the return of a female astronaut to Earth. She also happens to be from Livingston, Montana. Christina Cook's historic time in space broke records for women around the world. Elise Preston shows us the landing and what Cook hopes comes of the attention. Christina Cook, your record holder. She is out. Thumbs up and a huge smile. Christina Cook radiated joy as she took her first breaths of fresh air. The American astronaut is home after spending 328 days in space. Feeling the sand, feeling the wind, those are things that you can't really replicate up here, so I can't wait to be out in nature. As she prepared to make her journey back to Earth, the veteran of six spacewalks spoke to CBS News. Definitely the other thing I'm going to miss the most is being able to do this whenever I want. She'll also miss working with the space station crew. A heartwarming goodbye hug shows the co-workers are more like family. But Cook told CBS she was looking forward to this moment, descending in the Soyuz capsule with fellow astronauts Alexander Skortsov and Luca Parmitano to a foggy landing in Kazakhstan. My friends all tell me that the ride under the parachutes is the ride of your life. On the ground and in the cold, crews pulled them from their pods for a quick checkup and their first phone calls. Cook holds the record for the longest single space flight for any woman. Her lengthy mission will give researchers new data on how weightlessness in space affects the female body. The 41-year-old Michigan native was also part of the first all-female crew spacewalk. The amount of support and outpouring um, of interest from those spacewalks in particular, and in some ways the, the record-breaking part of the mission, have been overwhelming and in some ways a big surprise. She hopes with that surprise will come more curiosity about space exploration. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. Now, Cook traveled 139 million miles during her voyage, and during that time, she also touched base back here on Earth with some Livingston school kids. Yes, she did, and we saw that here on Q2. It was awesome.